Discovery call questions. In this video, we're going to be covering discovery call questions. You might call it a sales call, you might call it a strategy call. This is basically all about the questions that you want to ask when you're speaking to a prospective client that helps them to decide whether working with you is going to be their next best step. So before we get into this, first of all, why am I qualified to talk to you about this? I'm Bernadette Doyle. I've been using these questions for 25 years in my own business. I started out using them when I was first selling to corporates like Sony, AIG, British Telecom. I then started using them when I started selling to entrepreneurs and small businesses. And now I also use them in my coaching business when I'm selling to prospective clients and consultants. So these um, questions really work. You can apply them to any coaching niche. They can be adapted and fit to your niche. And the key thing about this is these really are the questions that will move someone along the buying process. It really helps move them to a buying decision. So first of all, what is the purpose of a discovery call? So um, a discovery call really is, I think, about two things. It's about the prospective client really understanding what they need and determining whether what you offer is the right thing to fill that need. And for you as the coach, um, it's an opportunity to you to figure out whether this person is the right fit. So you need to understand like what their challenges are and what their goals are and really what the gap is between those goals and challenges. So that's the place to start. It's not rocket science. You basically wanna figure out where are they now in relation to their current situation and where do they want to be? Now, if you stop there, however, you're missing out on a, um, a big opportunity. And the reason for that is, if you just ask about a person's situation, so for example, where are you now? As a dating coach, you're, the answer might be, I'm single. Where do you want to be? I want to be married to the love of my life. You, That's going to give you information, but it's not really going to uncover the motivation or the desire for the person to really step into the change that's on offer, the transformation that's on offer. So one of the things that I have my clients do is get go a bit deeper and then not just ask about the current and desired situation, but then really start to explore the implication of that. So we do it by looking at what are the costs and consequences of the current situation and what is the payoff and benefit of your desired situation. So it goes like this. So let's say if we use the analogy of a dating coach again, what's your current situation? I'm single, okay? So the next follow-up question would be, okay, what? how long have you been single? Been single two years. Okay, how does it feel to be single? How does it feel to be single after all this time? Start to explore that. Now, I'm not gonna give you the specific question for every possible contingency, because clearly, how you explore that will determine on what they then say next. And I'm not one of these people that there's a script for everything. Like an important part of questioning is that you're really kind of in rapport and really connecting with the person. But trust your intuition to guide you to the right questions when you are really just wanting to uncover what are the costs and consequences. That's the question you want to have in your mind. What's the cost to them? and the consequences to them of that being in this situation. So you could also ask a follow-up question that's like, what would happen, how would you feel if you were still single two years from now? You've been single for two years. How would it feel if you were still single two years from now? And give them a chance to explore that. Now, you're not doing this to manipulate. What you're doing in a discovery call is you want to bring clarity. So the great opportunity here is that you are basically, by asking the questions, you are the guide, you're helping the other person to uncover their own thinking around their current situation and their desired situation. This in itself is a tremendous gift. It's, it's a great opportunity, irrespective of whether they then sign up and become your client. What you're doing first and foremost is you're providing a space, a special space where they can explore this and they can start to uncover their current thinking. So you want to go for cost and consequences and then you want to explore the payoff. Okay, so your ideal, if you could wave a magic wand, is you would really love to be in an ideal relationship with the love of your life. Tell me more about that. So I always give people an opportunity to elaborate on what it is they really want is, in, instead. How would that feel? Let's just go there for a moment. What would it be like to wake up on a Saturday morning next to the love of your life, knowing that this is the person that you always wanted to be with? Let's just 
feel into that. And that's also a great gift because often when someone is very stuck in a problem, they're so stuck in that problem that they, they, they haven't really even given themselves permission or the opportunity to explore beyond that and really like think what could be possible for them instead. So I like to do both of those things. What current situation, desired situation, costs and consequences of the current situation, uh, payoff, potential payoff of the um, of the desired situation. Now, the next thing you want to do and uh, uh, uncover is like, well, what's stopping them? Why aren't they there that yet? So, and I I like to ask people to give me their opinion on. You tell me. So this is, and I do a summary. So this is where you are right now. This is where you want to be. And I'm hearing that right now, because you're in this current situation, these are the challenges you're experiencing. But where you'd really like to be is over here in this desired situation. Can you tell me, why aren't you there yet? Why haven't you figured this out on your own? And then what's going to come out often is, you know, some description of circumstances, often a lot of beliefs. Uh, now it could be beliefs about themselves, about their situation. I won't go into it in this video, but I will do another video for you on how you then take that info and you uh, you bridge the gap. How you can take what is currently stopping them and uh, then link that to what you have to offer to solve that. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to just stick with the questions. So once you've uncovered where they where they are versus where they want to be, the costs and consequences of where they are versus the payoff of where they want to be. Um, it's great, honestly, it's great to do a summary. And I've had calls where at this point, I've simply done a summary, said no more, and then the person has said, I really need help, how can you help me? So th these questions are really powerful because what you're essentially doing is you're providing a space for the person to uncover for themselves what they need. And here's the thing, their reasons are far more compelling than yours. So years ago, when I was first out now in business, I actually did a study. I did a modeling project where I looked at top performing salespeople. And one of the things that I uncovered was that the very best salespeople spent 70% of their time listening and asking questions. Now, this is great news for you. If you've ever wondered, oh, what should I say? I'm nervous about getting sales calls because I, I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say much. You need to ask the right questions and listen. And that's the power of having these discovery call questions. So listen, go out now and put these into action on your very next dis discovery calls. If you want help booking more discovery calls, check out the other videos I've done to help you with that. But I'd love to hear that if, how this impacts you. Do leave a comment below to let me know how these are helping you.